Math is simpler than you think. Welcome to Math with Hembo. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Math with Hembo. In this session, we're going to cover adding and subtracting fractions. When it comes to doing fractions, especially adding and or subtracting, we have to note that the bottom numbers are the most important. They have to be the same before we can do anything. The reason is that the bottom number represents the size of the piece, and the top number represents the number of pieces in that size. So when we do one third plus one third, what we're going to do is essentially leave the bottom alone. We do not add size if you want two pairs of jeans. If you're size 34, you don't want 68. So here, you just add one plus one, which gives us two thirds. That's it. For adding, add or subtract only the top numbers when the bottom numbers are the same. Situation changes when the bottom numbers are different, as in this case of 2a. The reason why I have 2a, 2b, 2c is that I want you to think of doing fractions in this sequence. Always check to see if a 3 or the smaller bottom number can always become a bigger bottom number. In this case, all I have to do is use the times table. Go into the 3 and see if a 3 can become a 9, and there it is. 3 does become a 9. So how does that work? Well, all we need to do is then change the third to the ninth and leave the original ninth here, 4 over 9, as is. If this is the case, once we have this, all we need to do now is change the 1. So here, what we have is 1 and 3. 3 became a 9, so take the 1, go along to the same column and see what the answer is, and the answer there is 3. Then, once we have this, just simply add the top and leave the bottom alone. And the final answer is 7 9th. Second step. If the bottom numbers are different, but 3 obviously can't become an 8, all we have to do is see if one of them is a prime number. Prime number is a number that can be divided only by itself to the answer of 1. All the numbers inside the times table are known as composite numbers. That starts with 4. That basically means 3 is a prime number and it can't become a 9, so we just simply multiply 3 by 8. And that gives us, as you see, 24. And same thing for the other side. So 24 is now known as a common denominator, or now, as I call it, the same bottom number. Once we have the same bottom number, change 1 third to the 24. So here, 1 and 3. In this case, we go, as you see, to the 24th, and the answer here becomes 8. For 3 8 here I will use a square box, 3 and 8. 8 becomes a 24, 3 becomes a? 9 again. So here, simply put 9. Once we have this, follow rule number 1, which gives us 17 over 24. For the third step, when the bottom numbers are not the same, and obviously they're not prime numbers, what you have to do is essentially draw a little chart for yourself. 4 in the middle, smaller bottom number, bigger in the outer, then start multiplying by 2's, threes, fours, until the same number appears in both columns. So in this case, four times two gives us eight, 12, 16, etc. What about the six? Well, six gives us 12 and 18, so here I got 12, 18, but wait, I already have 12s here. So all I need to do is now change everything to where they met, which is a 12. Change the quarter, one quarter into the twelfth, which becomes three over twelve. One and six into twelfth, which is two over twelve. Once you have this, then simply follow the rule number one again, which gives us five over twelve. Special rule applies when you're subtracting. As you can see here, all the fractions will eventually end up like this, where left side number for the fraction for the left side number is smaller than the right side number. If that happens, just simply take one away. So 5 becomes a 4. And then add the bottom number to the top. And that becomes your new top number. And the right side obviously doesn't change. Oops. So now, simply subtract 4 and 2. Gives us 2. Bottom number doesn't change. 
4 minus 2 gives us 2. And that essentially is how fractions get done. Just remember, try to follow this sequence, A, B, and C, and you will never go wrong. When it comes to mixed numbers, you don't have to convert them to improper fraction if you're adding and or subtracting. All you need to do is take care of the fractions first and then take care of the whole numbers afterwards. For example, here we have 2 thirds plus 5 and a third. From the previous rule, we know you should add only the top numbers and leave the bottom alone, so the fraction becomes 2 thirds. Then once you got that, just add 2 and 5 and it gives you 7. And there is your final answer. Whether you do it the long way or this way, the answer is always the same. Now that you know how to add and subtract fractions, we can take on the next challenge together. <music>